Pharmacology is one of the most important subjects you will need to remember for the rest of your career. Whether you're a physician, pharmacist, nurse, etc. It is a widely accepted notion among many people that studying pharmacology is challenging. If you're looking for the best tips on how to study pharmacology for easy recollection and understanding, then you've come to the right place. Here are my five tips. Now before I begin, please know that without dedicating time to study, none of these tips will automatically improve your ability to understand and retain what you learn in pharmacology. Tip number one, study by drug class. Birds of the same feathers flock together. This also applies to medications in the same drug class. These medications may have corresponding prefixes, suffixes, mechanism of actions, and side effects. So, studying them together will prevent you from wasting valuable time on learning about each individual medication. Now, if you find certain clinical pearls about a medication in that class that doesn't apply to the other medications, then you would want to make a note of that and memorize it as needed. That will most likely be on your exam, guaranteed. Tip number two, use mnemonics. No, scratch that. You must use mnemonics. Mnemonics are like cheat sheets during exams. It guides your mind to exactly what the answer is. Because let's be honest, trying to remember something about a specific drug out of all the other drugs you learned about may sometimes feel like trying to find a needle in a haystack. So having mnemonics will provide help. I also love the fact that they only need to make sense to you, no one else. Because of this fact, you can get vastly creative. Example, bradycardia slows your heart rate. When I hear bradycardia, I think of Tom Brady. Tom Brady is a great passer, but a slow runner. For you, when you hear Brady, you may think of Braden Hare or someone you know with that name, and then somehow make the connection with Brady Cardia, meaning slow heart rate. Make it personal. Tip number three, memorize only when you need to. It is not every information that you come across that you should memorize. There are certain information concepts, terminology that are just easily digestible. I always tell my students, if you understand the mechanism of action, you will know the side effects. For example, beta blockers slow your heart rate, and one of the side effects is fatigue. Now, does it make sense why having a slower heart rate can make you tired? You don't ever need to memorize that. If it comes up, you will know it. Allocate time towards researching and analyzing other sources until you fully understand the information when applicable. Tip number four. Use X-Factor Notes. X-Factor Notes contain random key information extracted from your overall study notes. This information may be an interesting, unique fact about a disease state or medication. Your X-Factor Notes should also contain a synopsis of information that you think will be on the exam. I love X-Factor Notes mainly because 10 to 15 minutes before the exam, I always review them. It's like reviewing all your study notes in 10 to 15 minutes. My X-Factor notes usually fit on one page. Tip number five, teach it to someone. This is one of the most effective and proven methods to help you retain information. If you don't have any friends like me, then teach it back to yourself. The person you're teaching the information to does not need to be someone who doesn't understand the information. Teach it to anyone and everyone as this will solidify it in your mind. And that will be the end of this video. I hope I was able to get straight to the point and I provided five tips that will help you study better in pharmacology. Once again, if you do not dedicate time to studying, none of these tips will automatically improve your ability to understand and retain what you learn in pharmacology. So make sure to do your due diligence. Thank you for watching this video and take care.